What's in this box? I don't know. Who sent it to me? I don't know. What's inside? I don't know. In all seriousness, this box was sent to me in my peel box by Ellen Willman. All it says on top is craft kits. I have no idea what's inside. I didn't order it. I, I don't think I was told that I would be sent this. So thank you, Ellen, for sending this to me. And so today's salty review is going to be a little different because I have no idea what I'm going to be reviewing. And it did say craft kits, plural. So we're gonna open, see what's inside, and review one of the one of the items. Why am I nervous? I hope it's not crystal growing kits. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you're looking to create a website in an all-in-one platform, I'll give you more information at the end of this video. All right, time to see what we get inside. Oh my god. So the first thing I see here is open on camera. Ellen, I did it anyways. This is one of like the biggest boxes I got in my PO box. By the way, please guys, don't, don't, don't waste your money. You don't have to send me craft kits. I'm wasting my money, so you don't have to. All right, let's see what's inside. Oh my gosh. Holy moly, Ellen. We have a cute little toki toki doki 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 doki. Little pony, that is so cute. <gasps> that is adorable. And then we have a cupcake. I don't know what this what this is, but it looks like it's ready for me to suffer for a review. That's scary. <laughs> and then we have a Halloween pusheen. That is absolutely adorable. Candy corn. I love candy corn. Well, I haven't eaten candy corn in at least five years. Wow. How do you love something if you don't keep in touch with it? And then we get some cute Halloween stickers. I want to use these in a resin piece. We can't do that yet because it's not Halloween yet. Maybe Halloween in the summer. Oh my gosh. Ellen, what did you do? Okay, so we have Pom Pom Kitties. This one is by Klutz Scholastic. I did look at this one. I don't have it. I'm super curious, so that's on my list. What is that? Fluffables. Create, style, and play. That is adorable. Oh, so it's like it's it's like felt. That is really neat. Oh, I, I might want to do this maybe today. I don't know yet. Oh my gosh, Ellen! And then we have a, another Klutz kit. This one is a polymer clay eraser kit. Oh, that is gonna be really interesting. What is this? Crazy Gels sticker art. I've never seen this before. And it's fruity scented! Fruit. <laughs> Layered lip balm. This one is just my style. I've never seen this before, so I don't know what to expect. And they don't show you what the finished product is on the box itself. And then the last item in here is confetti fizzy gloop. Is that slime, but over uh, under activated slime? The one that you guys tell me I keep doing it wrong? Possibly. Never seen this either. Is there a note? No, no note by Ellen. Ellen, thank you so much. Holy mackerel. You didn't have to send all of these, but now I need to make a decision. So today's victim will be the Fluffables craft kit. I never heard of it. I don't think I've seen it in Canada. Maybe I just don't go out often enough. But I like the fact that not only is it a craft kit, but you also get a mystery accessory. That is pretty neat because it seems like we can get glasses, mustache, and possibly other things. So let us do the opening. So upon first glance, it seems like the Fluffables are about $13 US. Seems quite reasonable. And here's what we get inside. Some fluffy felt. Ooh, that feels nice. Hmm. A little base that is kind of soft. It's like hard foam. And then it seems like we have the ears and tail. Mystery accessory, which I can already see what it is. Looks like the square-ish type glasses. Needle, eyes, and nose. What's that? And last but not least, we get a fully colored and pictures, not illustrations. I like it when they put pictures because that means it's achievable. All right, so the first thing we're supposed to do is put the tails, well, the tail, what, one tail, and ears in. And it's supposed to be as simple as just this. Yeah, that, that was simple. I feel a little uneasy. Is that supposed to be this easy? Now for the ears. like a little 
piglet. According to the instruction, we're supposed to take about this much from the fluff. So let's try and do that. This seems about right. Good enough. And then we're supposed to loop it around our finger, scoop it, put it into that little fork, and then insert. It's that simple, supposedly. And then it shows that you're supposed to go from the back to the front, which makes designing this a little trickier if you don't have experience. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do random colors because designing it, I'll try that around the head and see if we can be precise. And then we fluff, style, and trim. Seems straightforward enough. What I decided to do was take the fluff, separate them ahead of time, and then start poking. I know I said I didn't want to do a design, but I figured what kind of review would that be if I didn't challenge this kit to the maximum of what it suggests. The poking process itself is pretty straightforward and easy. All you have to do is make sure you go all the way at the end. We're gonna double check at the end if it if or not while we're fluffing it and styling it if it actually does pull out easily, but I guess we'll find that out. And I did realize I forgot to put the eyes and nose, so let's um let's let's do that. The design I'm going for is a white cat with white stripes and then it's going to have a black patch on the opposite side of the ear that is orange. No wait, the orange ear side. Wow, the side that has the orange ear. Yes, English. All right, here's what we have so far. It pretty much just looks like an animal that was outside in a blizzard and all its fur just kind of went one way. So the only thing that's left to do, they say, is just to kind of comb it gently and then trim it. Now, I don't know anything about trimming. This is pretty cute though. See, I tried to make stripes, but even if you make stripes, it's not possible to get precise shapes as they show you on the front of the pamphlet. I would like to see this one here actually done, because you could probably get splotches, but not even lines like this. So be careful, this could be misleading. All right, so let's comb this little fella, and um, where's the other eye? Here it is. It would be kind of cool if they had the eyes a different color, just because we do have black, and yeah, it's kind of lost in there. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and trim it. I don't know what this one is. This. Since this piece kind of looked like a guinea pig, I really didn't know where to start, so I kind of took the eyes as the gauge of how long I wanted the fur. So I started trimming around there, and then kind of tried to make it as even as possible, as much as possible. Then again, I am not really good at cutting hair, but I think that's the point. Ermigid, it's so cute! I have to admit, the trimming, the cutting part, was so fun. I have no experience cutting things. Well, things, yeah, but not, not hair or fluff. And if I do it, it's usually a mess. But this cute little mess is really adorable. Obviously, I tried to make stripes, but as you can see, getting very specific shapes, not doable. At least not for a beginner. Only one thing left to do. I say time for this little fella to get some glasses. Okay, if this is not cute, I don't know what is. And I'm kind of glad it looks more of a kitty cat because that was the idea I was going for. But I'm pretty sure you can turn it into a puppy if you want it to look like a puppy. All right, what, what should we name this little fella? Make sure you vote. I'm gonna put some options and if these options don't suit you, write a name in the comment section below. All right, time to have a chat. Let's go over there and give Salty Crafter an identity crisis. Time to find out. Is this kit worth it? If you're new to the salt shaker family, each of us here is a grain. We might be tiny grains, but we're all very powerful together. Wait, well, it's just another way for me to say that we like to start with the cons first. And if you don't like that, then you're doing it wrong, not me. You are! You commented wrong, you watched this video wrong, everything wrong. It's for the trolls, not my grains. My grains. The first con that I noticed immediately is that the more I used it, the more my finger was getting raw since I had to rub it against it in order to take the felt. Next, when it comes to the designs on the pamphlet, we can see a kind of triangle. That is not possible unless you can shave it down and know exactly where you want your shapes to be. And also because the body is pretty small. Which leeways into the next con, because the eyes protrude so much, you really can't trim the fur too much. Otherwise, it's just gonna look like a snail cat. There are no room for mistakes. So let's say you poked it, but didn't go too far in and then pulled it out and the fluff came out. You're going to have a pretty big gaping hole. In that case, your best bet is to make sure that you use glue in order for it to stay in place. Next, when it comes to the accessories and eyes, they are black. Normally that wouldn't be an issue, but if you're going to give me black 
fur, black eyes, black accessories, some of these things could get lost. So maybe the accessories could be red, maybe the eyes could be a bit of a blue or green, but when it comes down to it, it should have a bit of a variety in color. And um, that's, that's all I got for the cons. Salty is, is very, don't look at her, don't look at her. She is so embarrassed because that's all the cons she could find. On um, to the pros because we like to be fair here. This is a full kit. There was nothing missing at all. So it is a full kit. I didn't have to go buy anything else. The instructions were really easy to follow and thank goodness there were pictures and they were colored too. Not much to say about this part. It's self-explanatory. It was easy to poke. You didn't have to really put the strength of, of a behemoth in there. The fluff is so soft. It really was pleasant to kind of just hold it and, and touch it in your hands. There's, it's just, it's soft, it's, it's pleasant. In addition to the fluff being very soft, we also had a lot of extra. I really went very aggressive on the orange and I still had more to spare. Even though I finished it at the end, they were not cheap on their own materials. Trimming it was a lot more fun than I thought. I thought it would be tedious and not just tedious, but also maybe difficult and I would lose some sort of confidence. But I, all I did was really just gauge it on the eyes and I went for it and I miraculously came to the kitty cat that I wanted to have. Playability, it has it. I was so into it and really wanted to finish it that I was just so focused and it took me about an hour and a half to two hours and I'm an adult so if this were ever gifted to someone who's younger it might take a little longer and if you're checking your phone but I promise I was very focused except for the 45 minutes I went outside to shovel snow. Although I didn't learn a specific skill, the tools can be reused. So you can find a firm kind of foam, probably at a craft store, and some of that felt, and just start poking it to make your own little creatures. Of course, you can shape the foam first, but at least we have the tool, right? I think so. So with that said, this is not a kit that you're going to learn anything with. It's not necessarily a kit for grown-ups like me, because adults like to craft too. It's not just for itty bitty people. We have hobbies, we want to have fun. As a kind of snack craft, I guess I would call it, I would give this kit an 8 on 10 dorks. It does merit a high grade because it has everything needed. You can accomplish the project. It was pretty relaxing. There was nothing frustrating about it that made me question where my life choices came from. From. That's a good thing, and rare. So is it worth it? That's entirely up to you. If you're looking for something like a snack craft, could be it. And if you're looking for something a little more challenging, most definitely not. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, today we are sponsored by Squarespace. If you don't know what Squarespace is, it's an all-in-one platform that you can build your own website and online store. It has quite a bit of marketing tools as well. And if you don't have experience building your own website, don't, don't, don't worry about it. They have award-winning templates that are so easy to modify, as simple as double-clicking and changing the words and, and, and all that. And if ever you do get stuck, they do have 24-7 customer service, in, in case you're derp like me. Likelihood is maybe pretty high. So I know many of you are complaining about the commissions some other websites take, so if you're interested, you can definitely check out the way that they set it up. Less commissions for the other stores. So whether you want to start your own domain or transfer an existing one, it's made pretty easy with Squarespace. So make sure you check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash nerdycrafter. Thank you so much for watching my little grains. If you want to see a crafty video, make sure you check over here. And if you want to watch another salty video, because this one was just a little too sweet, make sure you check it down here. Until then, I will see you in the next video.